Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ev, I am a knitter, I live in Vancouver, and today's video is about a sweater that I am making, that I am casting on. Hopefully you guys can follow me and knit with me throughout this journey, throughout this uh, project, and uh, let's get right to it. The yarn I will be using is this beautiful, lovely Drops Kid Silk Mohair, and it will be paired with, da 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 da, Drops Flora Unicolor. So hopefully I will be able to pair these two and um, knit up my favorite things knitwear, sweater number 15. I have been wanting to knit this up for over a year now. I bought the pattern last year. Never got the chance to do it. So hopefully I can knit this up. My hope is to have this done before the holidays. I'm hoping that the mohair can mute out this uh, green because it, it's a little more apple color than I would have liked. I preferred a little more sage. So for some weird reason, Drops really doesn't like to put names on their colors and just puts numbers. I believe this was sage, but it is color number 34. And I believe this one was pistachio and it is color number 16. So hopefully you guys can uh, sit down, grab a drink, grab a coffee, a tea, whatever floats your boat, and you guys can knit with me as I uh, cast on this yarn. Okay, so, hi guys. Um, I'm in my little, this is where I work, little office in the room. So I made a bit of progress. So this is what I have. This, and then like that. And then I'm gonna keep going and then uh, do the armholes and then hopefully connect it. Hey guys. Um, so I think I'm now at my third uh, ball of yarn, skeins, balls of yarn. There's fiber everywhere. Um, so this is where I am. I'm finally knitting in the round. Yep. So three skeins. So I have three left and I don't know if that's going to be enough for full body and arms, but uh, we'll see. I think I will do probably three inches like this going down and then I will do the arms, see where that gets me. And then if I am way off, it'll be, I'll go buy more. Um, the only thing is I didn't, I thought I had done the right math, but I didn't, shocker. I don't think this year I finished a project with enough yarn. I seem to always be off by one to two skeins. I don't know. Which is kind of annoying, but yeah. Hopefully I will have enough and yeah, let's keep going. I am working on the second sleeve. It's been now two weeks. This I started last night. So I got three cables done. So I have two sleeves done. This is where we are at. Um, I love it. It has been a bit of a challenge because the cable rows just take so much longer than the regular knit and purl. It takes me twice as long to do like one cable row compared to the time it would take me to do a regular row, which is a little bit annoying, but needless to say. So this is where I'm at. I have two sleeves done. Still need to do the collar and the rest of the body. However, I think I might have messed up. I believe I'm playing yarn chicken because I have this much left. 
This is from my sleeve, which was actually miraculous. The sleeve only used up one ball. This is what I have left. Like this whole, this whole piece here, all the way up, just one, one ball. I just have this left. What I'm hoping to do is to now pick up for the collar and work the collar, see what I have left because right now it's like right under my rib, which would be way too short for a top. Just a bit of a bummer. But like I said, I'm gonna try to do the collar and uh, see how far I can get on the body, which is this. And yeah, let's keep going. This has been really, really fun. Um, it's too small, so I can't pass it more than this, but this is what it looks like with the two sleeves. And this is about this much longer, so probably up to here, run where my belly button is. My goal is to uh, keep knitting and uh, see how far I can get with that skein. The collar is a little bit loose, but I picked up the amount of stitches that was required, um, so I'm just wondering do I have a small neck? I know I have a short neck, but do I have a small one? I don't know. Hey guys. So we had a few like setbacks, I guess I would say. So we're now November 22nd. This has been a month and a half. Actually, I should double check my dates, but I believe it's now been a month and a half that I have started sweater number 15 by my favorite things knitwear. And it was on, on halt for the longest time because it took a really long time for them to deliver the two last skeins that I needed. I really, really like Wool Warehouse because of the fact that they give their yarn, you have the option to take it, but in little, uh, I believe these are called organza bags. They have like different sizes. Um, I think I even have another one, but I really, really like that they give their yarn, they ship you your yarn in a little bag that is reusable and you can store your project. Here are the skeins to hopefully just finish the rib because that is all I have left. Here's the sweater. This is where we're at. So I just have to do the rib. I'm going to start that tonight and hopefully by this weekend I can have that done and then I can have a video about this sweater and it will be done. I just finished it and casted it off yesterday. All I was missing was this little uh, hem. Now, again, I have yarn left over. So I'm gonna try to find something to do with this that could go with this sweater or just mix it with some other yarn. I heard that when washing this sweater, it actually uh, stretches quite a lot, especially in the sleeves in lengthwise. The body, I'm kind of happy with the length, a little longer, sure. I won't say no, but the sleeves as they are right now, they're a little on the short side. So if they could grow a half an inch, an inch, that would be great. So let's uh, wash and block and I'll show you guys after. So here we have it, the sweater number 15 by My Favorite Things Knitwear. I'm actually in love with this sweater. The yarn combination is perfect. I've been wearing it today. It is washed and blocked and honestly, it grew perfectly. I don't know if you can tell, but it's pretty loose fitting on me and this is the extra small. I'm really glad about how uh, stretched out and big and got. And 
I'm also happy because I was really, really nervous while knitting it up that the extra small would be too small and thinking, oh, I should knit the small because the, the difference is in the small and extra small, if I remember correctly, there's one less cable on the shoulder. So then the sleeve would be like way too long, but I'm really, really happy with it. I highly, highly, highly recommend this pattern. A little bit challenging because of the increases. I did find that confusing at first, but once you get the hang of it, the way it's worked up is a bit differently. You do the back panel and then you do the shoulders and then you connect it. But with the increases in the cables, it's a bit, just the yoke part of the sweater, I would say that's the part that's a little bit more challenging for a knitter. Um, but once you get past that, you kind of have the hang of it and then it pretty much flies off the needles. This one and the Louvre sweater from Petite Knit are my current uh, favorites, I would say. I wear them the most. I mean, wait, no, this one just got off the needles, but I anticipate wearing these ones the most this fall slash winter. We'll see, of course, because I'm working on my Moby sweater and I have cast it on a new project, which I hope to be sharing with you guys soon. If you guys have knitted the sweater, please comment down below. How was your experience uh, while working this up? Did you run out of yarn? Please like, comment, or uh, subscribe down below. If you hit the little bell, uh, it'll turn on all notifications and then you guys can keep up to date with when I post, which typically it's Saturday or Sunday. I'm trying to stick to a schedule. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys along in the next one. Bye.